Dun, dun, Whoa. Is that... Did you reface yourself behind a scarf? Pardon me, or a mask? With really long gray hair? You look like one of the Pirates of the Caribbean. Who are you going to war with? Eddie or Johnny Depp? You drew first at good job, buddy. I mean, did I though? Did I draw? Did I do anything that was out of line? I'm sure it was probably just an opinion I have on the way you act on YouTube lately. You know the way you act because you're you and all. You're this woman right here. You're talking about the code, this bro code about how you don't date your ex's best friend or your best friend's exes or any of this shit. <clears throat> These are two people, there are three people on YouTube. They're on the internet. And bro code isn't real. Bro code is, you know, bro code. There's, there's, love conquers all, honey. I, I'm surprised you haven't heard of this before. Denise, you've been around. All right? People find each other attractive, and they find a way. These two were free to, to date whomever they wanted to. They're, they are internet acquaintances at best. Now they're actually meeting. Natalie and, and Hamilton are actually meeting. Different, right? Yeah, it is. And it's nobody's business. It's not any of our business. And it's funny how the single people try to tell you what the goddamn dating code should be. All the single people. Oh, they're talking about what <laughs> bro code is. Stay single. How about let's pick on a man who's got cancer? Not only just pick on him, let's give out where he lit, where he's staying on his little vacation. He, he looking for a little tiny fucking relief from everyday stresses. And, uh... Nikki Salt Life here can't help herself but show where he's staying because a, a, a person with cancer isn't even out of her uh, purview and of course here she is ready for war because I drew first oh shut up bore me a little more i can't wait to you what you bore me with what are you gonna do put my face on something bore me with that for a little bit go on woman you're go stay in your dark fucking part of the world it suits you and and people are gonna have opinions about it get used to it they are they continue to and they will forever and there's a big difference between me sticking up for you with Sean when you're fighting with Sean and you sticking up for Amber who you said you love when she's not fighting. There's a big difference. Yeah, yeah. You say one thing and you do another. And it's for whatever reason. I guess I shouldn't try to figure that part out. But here's the deal. If it's good enough, if whatever you got that you fire at me with is good enough, I might respond and give you a little shine. But if it isn't, if it doesn't meet my standards, I'm going to ignore you into oblivion. So that's your two choices. Either really bring it and be good with it so I can give my excellent response. Or if you suck, I'm not responding. And you'll just be shooting fucking farts in the wind. Which, by the way, is what you look like you're prepared to fucking handle. <laughs> farts in the wind. Good luck with your battle. With your great big war. Clout chasing is a great hobby or so I hear. Where is there any... I mean, you know, I know most phones come with punctuation marks. You know, you could throw a few in there. And then David is so happy that you've finally committed to, to strap up and suit up and become 
another butt pirate of the Caribbean. Congratulations. Welcome to the battle. Let's see if you're worthy.